So candida, an overgrowth of candida or chronic candida, uh, untreated, can lead to actually some very uh, uh, more prominent um, debilitating symptoms. Folks that go on small eradication diets or maybe try a couple of supplements but leave it right there, the candida can return and become detrimental. We find hundreds of stories where in, in office uh, folks tell us that it then becomes sort of a, a mental conditions or neurological conditions like myself at one time. Um, it can lead to extreme fatigue. I've had folks report a, a, dip, a life change uh, in a downward spiral because of overgrowth of candida and not being able to treat it correctly or to have it come back, it seems to come back with a vengeance. Candida can have outward symptoms um, and sometimes even the most chronic condition, though you, you will have no outward symptoms. Some of the outward symptoms would be uh, thrush in the mouth, uh, nail fungus, uh, bloated belly. Um, I have seen candida in one particular autistic child where it looked like a white film coming out of the skin, the bottom of his legs. Um, and then for others, they, it could be maybe in the, in the lungs, so they have a breathing disorder, um, but you can't, you can't see it. We have some folks that talk about candida in the throat, and so they have a narrowing or choking in their throat, and they have actually gone to, to the point of surgery to open their throat or expand their throat when maybe candida eradication treatment would have been the way to go.